Let's take a closer look at how this measurement method works. A tube is located inside each Coriolis flow meter. An exciter causes this tube to oscillate constantly, here in an exaggerated example. If there is no flow, the measuring tube oscillates uniformly. Sensors are located at the inlet and outlet and register this basic oscillation precisely. As soon as the fluid starts to flow in the measuring tube, however, additional twisting is imposed on the oscillation as a result of the liquid's inertia. Now, due to the Coriolis effect, the inlet and outlet sections of the tube oscillate in different directions at the same time. The highly sensitive sensors pick up this change in the tube oscillation in terms of time and space. This is known as the phase shift and is a direct measure of how much liquid or gas is currently flowing through the pipe. The higher the flow velocity, and thus the total flow, the greater the deflection of the oscillating measuring tube. The application of the Coriolis measuring principle doesn't stop here. It can also be used to simultaneously determine the density of the flowing fluid. To do so, the sensors also register the oscillating frequency. In other words, how often the measuring tube moves back and forth in one second. From the animation, it's clear that a tube filled with water oscillates more frequently than a tube filled with honey, for example, which has a far higher density. Thus, the oscillating frequency is a direct measure of the fluid's density. Both the density and the flow are determined simultaneously but independently via the tube oscillation. Endress and Hauser has continuously revolutionized and perfected Coriolis flow measuring technology in numerous innovative systems.